25 years seems like a very long time whenever I read the press release and I thought to myself, what? It actually is. Uh, we're talking about the Brilliant Boy Zone. Uh, today, it's a little bit different. I've got one of the guys here and it is the brilliant Shane Lynch. How's it? Very good, very good. <laughs> 25 years, what happened? Where did that come from? I don't know. And I think, um, I know, I don't feel that much older. And that is the truth. I'm a, I'm a father now, I've got two kids, but I still kind of think I'm still that, maybe not 17, I'm still that 21 year old guy from Boys Own. Um, and the years have gone fast, but life kind of still feels the same. And of course that infamous Late Late Show. Do you know, I think one of the good things about that in all of its disaster, <laughs> you have to pull something from it, is um, there's belief, you know? We, we looked at, back at that clip and it's like, well, how can you possibly be, become one of the biggest bands in the world after this kind of a thing? But you can because of commitment, hard work, and I'm just delighted I'm not pulling that out of my archives to, to say, well, this is my big moment in life. It went beyond that and we became, yeah, a global success. And... I guess you can't really shun where you began. And I like to always remember that too. We all have a beginning and never get too big for your boots. So in fact, I probably even play that to myself sometimes when I have to bring myself back down, you know? That is very important. All right. Um, if you think about the back catalog, I mean, it's, it's pretty much, it, it's just, it, whenever I look at it, whenever I'm looking through the downtown system, I just think to myself, they really did have a huge amount of hits. We um, were about to embark on our last tour uh, and we're going through the records right now. And like any band, you know, you can get confused or lost in the fact that we're doing new mu music now, but actually the people want to hear the hits. And so we're going through all those records. We're going through all our kind of top 10, top five stuff. And there is a lot, like to the point of where I don't even know if we can fit them all in on the actual gig itself. So somebody's going to be upset about the song that they didn't hear, that they wanted to hear. But at the same time, we're trying to do our best to fit uh, all of the hits of boys on in and yeah there's 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 some records in there this is a pretty much difficult conversation what's your favorite one for different reasons different songs and i guess this is for everybody and what, what is what is music right music is memories so that's what it is yeah. music is memories. so yeah. for me as a member of a band uh we are just the, the deliverer of particular memories for people we're the the vessel that carries such sound that uh, emotionally attach themselves to others' journeys. And I think some artists, they think they are the be all end all, but it's not, it's about the people, it's about the music, about the songs. And perhaps, Isn't It A Wonder is one of my favorite records. Um, not one of our biggest by all means, but I, and I only catapulted myself back to making that video out in Australia, driving a big caddy, big open top caddy. And we, we shot it in a place called uh, um, Broken Hill, which is where they shot uh, Mad Max and stuff like that. So me being a car ahead and Mad Max and all those kind of films and now I'm there in my own car shooting this video. So it has good memories for me. So different tracks for different reasons. Yeah. Of course, you've had your good times. You've had your very bad times as well. You've had your very rough times. And uh, Stephen passing. Uh -huh. that, you must look back on that now and go, he didn't really get a chance. He wasn't about for long. Yeah, you know, I think it's a surprise when any young man young woman dies um, uh, unexpectedly or not being ill and stuff like that and you know next year is his 10th anniversary wow. and it has even that in itself has gone by in a blink of an eye wow. um, but the nice thing for us boys is with the four of us and boys on being that impenetrable bubble almost Steo is very much alive you know, he exists in the world of Boys On till today, till our very last album, we have him on there. Um, he was working with a, a Swedish producer back in 01, and they made this particular record that never seen the light of day. Um, but the, the producer sent it over to us, but uh, not unknowingly, this is about a year ago, that we were actually making an album. So we took that record, we dissected it, and we made it into a Boys On record, and he's, yeah, he's still there till this very day. So um, he, he was a massive, massive entity in, in Boyzone's career and all the early stuff and all his, his voice is so particular and of course we, we lost we lost that and lost our brother lost uh, you know someone we love dearly but at the same time we celebrate him in, in many ways his memory is amazing for us I think it's very interesting that after 25 years you guys are still mates <laughs> and I think that's really important and that's probably been your success and of course you've got this brand new track out what we're playing on downtown called Because yeah and the likes of that even for Boyzone to be connected to 
the superstars of the world today like Ed Sheeran wrote that record um, on the album also is another Gary Barlow record um, we were talking about Sam Smith stuff uh, we've got a, a collaboration with Elisa Dixon and so that we've we're still kind of mixing with the stars if that makes sense and that's nice for us because and all the people we've worked with and all the producers there was it's kind of a heritage thing for them too um, 25 years is a, is a lot of time in people's lives so they're more than happy to be a part of all of, of, of this for Boys Own's journey. Okay, wrap it up. Um, you've got your new tour, which is going to be kicking off in January. It's called Thank You and Good Night. Yes, Thank You and Good Night kicks off in January, yeah. Straight out, straight down, cards on the table. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. You know, it's going to be horrible, right? The very last show, which is probably a year away at this point, but the last show is going to be a sad time. It's going to be absolutely horrible. I'm going to hate it. But for now, I've got a year of enjoyment. Is that like a solid agreement between all of the guys that this is it it has to stop somewhere or are you going to be like the Stones you're going to be rocking out at 70 on a stage in Dublin or in Belfast you know jumping up and down the stage no I think I think for this moment of the career of Boys Own whatever happens in 10 20 years that's a long time that's a, that is a lifetime away that's, that's another generation away if we ever decide to do something who knows but for now in its current state Boys Own this is thank you and good night you could do the uh, Is It Any Wonder 2025 remix. <laughs> <laughs> You're a legend, brilliant. <laughs>